You ever have a conversation with the injurer who hurt you in your mind? Like, this is what I would say to you if I could say it to you personally. And you rehearse these conversations with the people who either betray you or hurt you. And you're like, boy, I, boy I, I, if only they knew this. Or if only they knew God. And, and you, it's just normal. We get angry. And so he has hard feelings. What do you do with those feelings? And, and David goes to bed. How many nights have you gone to bed with feelings, bad feelings toward someone else, memories, thoughts, and you've struggled to gain control over your rage and hurt? Anybody? I have. Absolutely. And you're going, man, how do I deal with that? Well, rather than focusing on his mistreatment and the injustice, look at what David focuses on in verses 4 and 5. In your anger... Do not sin. When you are on your beds, search your hearts and be silent. Offer right sacrifices and trust in the Lord. Instead of focusing on his mistreatment, instead of focusing on his injustice, instead of focusing on his injurers, David focuses on the need for change in his own life. Wow. You know how that battle goes when either you're going through a tough time and you're focusing on that so much or someone's injured you and you're focused on them too much? David turns the situation in his battle, in his normal battle, right on its head. And he begins to focus on his own need for change in the midst of the circumstance. In your anger, do not sin. Now here's our second point when you're in a tight space and you're battling to hold on to the right perspectives. Would you say this with me? I can't change the other person. I can't change the events of the past. But I can change. Yeah, that's it. Can't change the other person. That's what David's saying. I can't change the other person. I can't change the events of the past. And in the midst of this thing, I am going to turn my eyes and my ears toward God in the midst of this situation and say, I can take responsibility for my attitude. That's what David is saying. He says, in your anger, do not what? Sin. See, you are the most vulnerable when you have a negative emotion that is trying to get control of you. And you know who loves that situation? Satan. Because the most easily controlled person is the most emotional person. Because you tend to believe more lies when you're emotional. Amen? When, you're, when your anger or your hurt or your loss is at its peak, Satan knows that. And as the father of lies, as the crafty father of lies as the manipulative, suggestive father of lies, when is the right time to lie into a man's life? Is it when everything's cool and he's in control? Or is it when he's at the peak of a negative emotion, either anger or anxiety or depression? You tell me. It's when a man is most controllable. So David... He says, you know, I can't change the other person. I can't change the events. But I can take responsibility for my attitude. I can stop striving. And I can do the right thing. To see more or get answers to other questions you have, check out our Media Vault at everymanministries.com.